But with that, what to do next? Because there are. Our next goal will be to find our next spell stone, right? You seem upset, lady. What's bothering you? Um, okay. So this is this challenge here. Basically, you have to... You have to get rid of all these egg thieves. And keep the eggs safe for... A certain length of time. It's very useful to equip the ground quake here, because it can get rid of a lot of eggs. And as long as they don't get the eggs to the edge of the room, then, the, then they'll just fall back to the center. Like so. But it, but it can be rather tough to do this, honestly. It may be a good idea to try and go, come in here with a full magic meter, unlike what I did. You can you can take out like single ones just like this. Um, I don't know if it's um, if it judges you on if, like even a single egg stolen is a failure or if it's like tolerance of so many before it, before you fail it. But it's best to try and not let a single one get through. And honestly, this can be somewhat of a pain to do. Um, I don't have enough to do the ground quake, so... And also they... When time runs out, they all drop them and run. <laughs> That's Let funny. me repair you. Hmm. I believe inside there is something that you see. Well, that's oddly interesting. There's something near. Yes, Tricky. We know there's something near. But your staff was glowing green in here. That's why. Because of this. Now. I wonder if this staff upgrade could be... Um, I'm gonna just grab these because I need to refill, refill my magic. I think it's kind of miraculous that I managed to finish that at the end. I remember that being slightly annoying too. <laughs> Why are all the annoying things happening in this segment of the game that I have to play tonight? Anyway, this gives us the portal device. <laughs> um, no, this is not Aperture Science. <laughs> Maybe someday. Possibly. I don't know. By using this power combined with your staff, you can open the portal doorways. No, they do not come in orange and blue. Although that would look pretty cool, to be honest. <laughs> but no, the portal doorways are just those weird doors that you've seen around that there's a kind of a weird staff thing in the middle of them that you don't have didn't have any way to open until now but that's an that's an oddly convenient time to get this because you actually need this right away if you want to advance the plot anyway um, before I you okay there bud still having those problems I don't know maybe you should maybe you should go see a doctor anyway but before we actually go on and and try and advance the plot further I'm going to head into the shop we've already bought most of the things you can buy in the shop is the thing but 
And the next thing that we need to, that we need to buy to advance the plot, we already we can't even hold enough on our in our wallet for. But there's one thing more to buy here, and that is this, the high def display device. And the thing is, you will need this later on in the game, and I was putting it putting off buying it because you don't need it till later. But I think now is as good a time to get it as any, because various reasons. But anyway, what do you have to say about paying this much? Um, 17 is too low. Um, okay, sell two for 18 scarabs. That's nice. But see, this is the really, really annoying thing about this particular sales item, other than the camera watching out. It was already yours. Slippy Air dropped it to you, but the shopkeeper got it first, so that's why you've had to buy it. Sure. I want to punch that guy in the face. Press Z to bring up the display. You see the zoom in now. Basically, it, this just adds a zoom function to your first person view. And this kind of cool heads up display, I guess. So you can zoom in on every scale on this guy's face. Um. Enjoy your sleep tonight, kiddos. Also, that's an odd zoom amount to max out at 13.23. That is interesting. Anyway, that little detour finished. And I've noticed another thing too. I think there's a lot less going on. It's like between things now. Now that you've started getting in the rhythm of getting a. Also, that's what the portal device thing looks like. But it's like once you start getting in a rhythm of getting a spell stone, returning the spell stone, getting a Cruzoa spirit, returning a Cruzoa spirit, there's a lot less going on just in between things. Like there was at the beginning of the game when you were having having to go fetch Tricky and then open, and then meet with the gatekeeper to open the open the doorway. So maybe that means that maybe that means we'll be heading to our next spell stone location soon. Who knows? Also, it looks like you're all asleep now. So maybe I hushed up the warp stone. Also, it's storming out, so I wouldn't be wanting to sleep again. I am to sleep out here. It's it's a good night to have a house, or a cave at least. Um, but this isn't really a cave, because it's just a little nook or something. It's still raining in here, is the point. Anyway, do you have anything interesting it's to tell so us? It's so nice to see you both. But I have some bad news. Son, your father has been taken prisoner within the walled city. Is he okay? Fox, Fox, we've got to help him, quick. He's right, Queen. Point us in the direction of the gatekeeper and we'll rescue him. I wish it were that simple. You see, Tricky's father is the gatekeeper. That's a problem. Dad's a gatekeeper? No, <laughs> oh, that's all we need. Yes, and a wise one at that. When Scales came to our land, your father knew that the shark clothes would come for him, and so he hid his gatekeeper powers behind this sacred seal. Hmm. I'm sorry, but I cannot break the familiar. seal. Maybe you might have some idea. Well, he was certainly he was certainly aware of of, of how things were going to go down, I guess. So he hid his powers somehow behind a doorway so that someone could come along and open it up and come to his rescue. That guy's got some good planning ahead skills. I'm sorry, but I cannot break the seal. Maybe you might have some idea. Good planning ahead skills, I guess. Or the game's just designed for you to succeed. I don't know. Maybe. But anyway, let's use our new portal device, which you're supposed to 
What you're supposed to do is talk to her first, and then go looking around for some way to open it. And maybe with Slippy's help, figure out, hey, go look at it. Go look at that one chick with the eggs. But stick our staff into the door, and suddenly it goes away. Not so much for portal devices, well, for opening doors. So I guess portal is really just a fancy word for door anyway. You just think of it as teleporting, because, well, it's all fancy and things like that, and science fiction uses it, and all that. But really, a portal is just a door. So that's an oddly literal use of, of the word. But with that, we now have our way out, way onward to the walled city, which is the third of four, of four floating continents, I guess. General Scales has to be stopped. Yes, we know. But with that, that is all we have to do on the planet for now. Things, things are really picking up, so I guess we're just moving on at a nice clip. This is usually when I'd end a recording session, but I have so much to cut out from that thing that I'll keep playing through the walled city, I believe. I don't know, I guess I just feel glad that I've gotten done with that segment. <laughs> On who am I kidding? I would usually show the flying segment anyway. But if I was gonna end the recording session, now I wish I would just. I'd at least do the flying segment to the walled city. But. This is the walled city. Looks fancy. This is dangerous ground, folks! The walled city was once the Earth Walker's home, but it's been overrun by the deadly Red Eye tribe. General Scales has imprisoned the King Earthwalker within its walls. You must rescue the King and find that spellstone. Hurry, Fox. Those nasty beasts are mighty hungry. Let me out. That's foreboding. Okay, so seven gold rings this time. It's getting trickier. Also. Also, think about it. Think something to think about here. The first one wanted one gold ring. The second one wanted you to fly through three to get to the to Dark Ice Mines. The third wanted five to get to um, Cloud Runner Fortress. And now they're asking for. Okay. Asking for seven to get to the walled city. I guess is what I've been trying to say. Also, I think there's a boost. Yes, you can boost with Y and break with X, I think, maybe? They never really tell you that, but that's very useful at those shutting doors. Also, get over here to that one. Shoot that one and get it. I think that was all ten, actually. But, so, so far they've wanted, yep, that was all ten. But they've wanted one gold ring, three gold rings, five gold rings, and now seven gold rings. And there's one more place we're going to have to fly to after this. That's all I'm going to say. But, 